Today, we're gonna to be testing out this brand new item from Ryobi. This is something that hasn't hit the shelves yet, so this is gonna be a first-hand look at it. The weather is gonna be close to 80 degrees today, which is gonna be perfect for testing out this 18-volt hybrid iceless power cooler. Let's go. So in a minute, we're gonna take a close look at all the features on the cooler, and then we're going to also test the performance levels of it. First of all though, I think it's important just to see the specs so that way it all makes sense as you're seeing it. Let's take a look at what's included. This is a tool only. So the cooler is by itself, the battery and charger sold separate. It also includes a 120 volt power adapter. So this is what it looks like, kind of like a laptop adapter. I just wrote, Ryobi cooler on there with my paint pen. Just makes it easy when you see it. You don't have to look at the end and try to figure out what this goes to. Then it also includes a 12 volt car adapter. So you can just see, I also wrote cooler on there right there. So as I mentioned, this is a hybrid 18 volt cooler. So it runs off a battery or corded AC power or the vehicle 12 volt power. So you can set this to chill as cold as negative four degrees Fahrenheit for a deep freeze. It functions as a portable fridge and a freezer. It has a 40 12 ounce can capacity and it has up to 23 hours of runtime. And what that means is the runtime is based on the full cooler and pre-refrigerated contents chilled to 40 degrees and the outside temperatures 70 degrees. It includes a three year limited warranty. All right, now let's check some of these specs right here real quick. So the temperature range on this goes from negative four all the way up to 68. So just in case you're wondering if this does heating like a hot box of some sort, no, it does not do that. You can set and display the temperature and monitor the battery level using the onboard LCD screen right up there. If you wanna have unlimited runtime, you can use a 12 volt or 120 volt adapter. You can charge small devices with a USB-A port. You can easily transport this with a folding handle and the wheels. So the weight of this empty, 32 pounds. So here's an important stat right here that you might wanna know about. This is the estimated runtime with batteries. So if you have two two amp hour batteries, it will run for five hours. If you have two 18 volt four amp hour batteries, it'll run for 11 hours. And if you have two 18 volt nine amp hour batteries, it runs for 23 hours. So those run times are based on the same conditions I mentioned before, like a pre-cooled refrigerator. All right, so the cooler can be a little bit heavy, but it's kind of a compact size and it has two nice handles on the side. So it's really not too bad. And then the nice thing is it has this handle right here and the wheel, so it's gonna be easy to transport. So let's turn it around here a minute. So first of all, we have a bottle open right here and I did get a chance to test it out. It does work very well, but believe me, there are actually some that aren't that smooth, but this one, I definitely give a thumbs up. And then right here is the compartment where the batteries go. So you can use any of the Ryobi batteries. So I have a couple four amp hours in here right at the moment. And then right here, we have the 24 quart cooler. That's where you can fit up to 40 12 ounce cans. And what's really cool is this has a LED light right there, which you'll see in just a little bit. It just lights up the whole cooler, very nice. Then we have the two tie down points on each end right here. Would really come in handy just to keep everything safe and secure. So down here is what I would call the exhaust. That's where you can feel a little bit of that heat escaping. So as it's cooling it down, the heat is pulled out through here and pushed out through here, I should say. And then right here is where the plug goes for either your AC or your car adapter. So right up here is all the controls, it's LCD. And then right over here is where you can charge your phone. It has a rubber cover on it. It's a USB-A. And then the top right here is flat, so if you wanna set your drinks on top, you can have it as a little side table right there. And then underneath, I don't think there's really too much to really point out there. So that's the walkthrough all the way around it. All right, so now, how about we test it out first with some battery power? So then if you're wondering the technology on how this does the cooling, it does run a compressor and it does have refrigerant in it. So the way that I've observed this cooling is the sides are cold all the way around. The bottom, I don't think there's any cooling down there. It's just the cold sides kind of radiate down to that. And then the top lid just helps to insulate the cold in and keep any warm air from entering as well. All right, let's do some testing. 
All right, let's take a look at the cooler. So it's been chilling from my SUV with that power cord right there at 45 degrees. Let me show you what's inside here real quick. And we're going to see for an afternoon, we're gonna have it running on these two batteries, two four amp hour batteries. These are just the standard Ryobi ones. They're not a high performance. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. You see it says 43 degrees. And we're going to make sure that it stays at 43. So I need to check to see the setting at the moment where it's at. All right, so we're gonna leave it right there at 45 degrees. And then we're going to, we have it right now instead of max mode, actually we're gonna go to the eco mode right there. And you can see up here it's on medium. We're gonna to toggle right there to low. But we'll see with this setting right here if it will maintain the cooler for the rest of the afternoon. As far as the outside temperature, it's around 80 degrees. It's mostly cloudy. Once in a while, the sun pops out, so it's probably gonna get a little warm in here. Okay, here's the update. It's been four hours. Let me close this door so you can see a little easier. So it's 43 degrees, and what's the battery life? So it's kind of interesting. The very top battery shows zero bars with 16.2 volts. That one, 20.6. So I'm not sure there. Anyways, it's definitely staying cool. You can feel the warmth down there. And take a look inside. Oh yeah, so nice and cold. This would really be refreshing. I like it. We've had some really hot weather this weekend and I think the cooler did a great job. Leo, what do you think? Do you like it? So here's a feature that I just want to point out, which I think is really handy to have that little drain plug right there. Very nice. That would come in handy. Sure beats having to tilt this over to drain the water out if there is any water in there. So one of the tests I want to put this through is I turn this down to, let's see, make sure it's down to 30 degrees. So that way it'll be below freezing. Yep. All right, so we're going to leave it at 30. And we're going to let this set up overnight. I have three water bottles standing up in there. Maybe I'll lay one down. The other two standing and see what it looks like overnight in the morning. All right, you can see we have sunshine outside. And we're here the next morning looking at the cooler. It says 27 degrees. Let's see what these water bottles look like. Oh, definitely really cold to the touch. So these are not ice. I think there's a little trick that you can do to make them turn to ice. Watch. So you can see it's crystal clear. Oops. All right, we'll take the label off. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> it's turned to ice, like a slushy ice. So now I've had a chance to test this out after a long, busy weekend. It definitely passes with flying colors. There's so many nice little features on here that I like, just having that light on the inside. And, you know, I've done a lot of camping. I don't know if you have, but it seems like late at night, there's always those campers. They open the cooler and you just hear it creaking really loud. So if you're in a tent, you're trying to sleep, people are opening, slamming their coolers. This is nice and quiet. You don't have to worry about ice with this. So I'd like to know what you think about this. If there's any improvements that you could see them making or any questions that you have, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in seeing some new Ryobi tools, I will have a short playlist right over here that you can check out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you wanna see some of my upcoming tool review videos, please do so. So that way you won't miss out. So friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.